and welcome back to the Kiosk Presents. Joining me today is Steve Coogan. Uh, you know him from the trip and also as Hades, if you're a younger audience, and Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Thank you so much, Steve, for joining us today here on the Kiosk Presents. You're welcome. All right. Uh, I'm a big fan of everything I've seen you in so far. Uh, and now you helped screenwrite this movie, uh, Philom Philomena. Can you tell us anything about it? Uh, yeah, it's about a, uh, it's a true story uh, about a woman called Philomena Lee, who's played by Judy Dench, Dame Judy Dench, I should say. Um, and her search, a 50-year search for her long-lost son, who was adopted uh, uh, 50 years ago and uh, sent to live in America uh, against her will. Um, and she goes on this journey with uh, a journalist called Martin Sixsmith, who I play in the movie. Um, but it's a true story. Uh, the script was uh, developed from talking to the two people involved. And uh, it's a bit of a departure for me because I normally do uh, comedy in the UK and sort of these supporting roles in studio films here in the US. But uh, this is a big, uh, uh, a, a big project for me because it was, uh, it, it's, quite a, it's, a, it's sort of quite a serious drama, but uh, there's a lot of, lot of comedy in it, a lot of laughs. Yeah, I was I was seeing a, quite a bit of it. I can't wait to actually see the full film, but it just seems like there's a lot of points that are very tense and a lot of drama, but every so often it just gets broken up by a bit of comedy from the two of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, 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 this, we made sure in the, in the script that there was a lot of levity because there's some heavy stuff in the movie, but... You know, I, and often, you know, studios, they, they, uh, they, they, do, they, they, they sort of delineate films. They do drama, comedy, or, you know, thriller, or whatever. But I find that uh, what's quite liberating writing this script was to, to put tragedy and comedy next door to each other, um, which, which, for me, I think they're quite, uh, they're quite comfortable bedfellows because, um, you know, if you go to any funeral wake, uh, often people after the funeral will be talking about the person who's gone uh, with... Um, with affection and, and often laughter because they're thinking of stories about them. So, so often you find tragedy and comedy together. So, and that's really what we, 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 I think we've achieved in the film is, is people laugh and they cry. Uh, I've heard people describe that the movie is a lot like life and that it's very lifelike in how people respond and how no character is a good guy or a bad guy. No character is <coughs> fully likable or unlikable. Uh, was that really your goal was to mimic life as perfectly as you could in this? Well, I mean... I, we, what we try to do is avoid cliches, avoid movie cliches, and uh, and just give give characters humanity and wit and 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 show she, try to be you know uh, truthful. Um, that you're right. No, there's no no one has the right, all the right answers, and that's partly the, what the film is. Uh, it, it's not saying anything specific, but it's about learning from each other, and and no one has a monopoly on wisdom, uh, whatever their beliefs or, or views, and and uh, it's about it's about humility, I think. Fantastic. Uh, now, you worked. Have you worked with Judy Dench before? No, I hadn't worked with Judy before. No. <laughs> then it seemed like from everything I saw, you guys had a really interesting chemistry going on, where you really played off each other very well. Yeah, it felt very natural. Um, and I have to say, I mean, I was slightly uh, daunted by the prospect of uh, sharing the screen with such an iconic, uh, uh, you know, British actor. Um, but she. Uh, she, as soon as she became Philomena, it, I was just, you know, just, it was like acting in a, in a movie with a little old Irish lady. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for joining us here in Buffalo and Western New York. Hopefully everyone throughout the entire region will go see it, and hopefully they'll all be touched by the heartwarming story within. Thank you.